What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another video for today's video. We are going to do a really fun one, one that I've actually been contemplating. I kind of put it off over years, like I thought about this video years ago to do on my channel and just kind of put it off, been thinking about it and then thought about doing it like a few months ago and then just like today, literally I just worked like 11 hours last night, got home and I was like, fucking screw it we're gonna do it right now we're gonna do this video we're gonna do the halloween franchise versus the friday the 13th franchise we're gonna pin each film against each other the only film that's gonna be an outlier i believe is halloween ends because it doesn't have a comparable uh friday the 13th film to go against it so we're gonna take from friday the 13th the first film all the way to the remake including freddy versus jason and we're gonna do halloween john carpenter's halloween all the way to Halloween Kills and compare them one against each other, and I'll pick which one is my favorite. So let's do this. Roll it. So kicking it off, we're starting with the OGs, the originals. We're starting with John Carpenter's Halloween, the granddaddy that started the Halloween franchise, and... Friday the 13th and your boy NornRad89, if you've been following the channel in any way, shape, or form, or capacity over the last, like, any shape, like, in any year, even under a month, you would know your boy NornRad89 is a Friday the 13th fan. That's my franchise. That's my boy, Jason Voorhees. I love this franchise to death. That being said... John Carpenter's Halloween is going to take the win for this one, mainly because John Carpenter's Halloween is just such a monumental film to me. It's like warm comfort food and just like this one is like said an influential slasher. Not to say that Friday the 13th isn't influential and like said started my favorite horror franchise. It's just if I'm comparing them against each other, I'm going to pick John Carpenter's Halloween over Friday the 13th. Next up, we have Rick Rosenthal's Halloween 2 right here. We have this one, and then we also have Friday the 13th Part 2. So it's kind of like, which one are we going with? Both of them. I have love for both of them. Halloween 2, Rick Rosenthal's was the first VHS horror film that I ever owned. So it got a lot of rewatches in my home. Friday the 13th Part 2, got a, I got a lot of love for it. It's the first introduction of Jason Voorhees. It's got a fantastic final girl in Ginny. And I think the story and some of the characters in here are some of the cutest girls you're ever going to see. And it has some really likable characters in here. Again, that being said, <laughs> I'm going to go with Halloween 2 on this one. Rick Rosenthal's Halloween 2. I know it's looking like the Halloween franchise is possibly going to run away with this one. We'll see. But yeah, Rick Rosenthal's Halloween 2 I'm going to go with as my favorite of those two. Now, I don't have the comparable Halloween franchise film to go with this one, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which is kind of an outlier in the Halloween franchise. It doesn't have Michael Myers in it or anything. It's, like said, about a much more Celtic kind of witch type thing. It's got, Tom, you know, Tom Atkins in it. But it's going up against Friday the 13th Part 3, and this is going to be the first win for Friday the 13th, I'm telling you right now. This, for me, is one of the most underrated Friday the 13th films. I love Chris Higgins, the final girl in this film. She's one of my favorite final girls. The Richard Broker performance as that plays Jason Voorhees is my absolute favorite in this film. And, like, I love the kills. I absolutely adore the kills and the characters. I love spending time with these characters. So Friday the 13th Part 3 is going to take it over Season of the Witch, which wasn't really a kind of a fair fight because I'm not the biggest fan of Season of the Witch. That is in my bottom half of the ranking for my Halloween franchise ranking. Yes, I am missing some of these on physical media. I don't own Halloween 4, so I am missing that one, Return of Michael Myers, and that's going to go up against Friday the 13th Final Chapter, and Jason Voorhees is going to tie it up right now. It's going to be two for two. I'm going to take Final Chapter over Halloween 4. I really do like Halloween 4, and I love the Halloween atmosphere. It's got great vibes. It introduces Jamie. I love Rachel and their chemistry together on screen. It's just, to be honest, Halloween 4, I could find it to be kind of cookie cutter and a little bit boring at some times 
And Friday the 13th Final Chapter is a freaking banger. This is one of the greatest slasher films of all time. And in like most cases, a lot of people's favorite Friday the 13th film. And I'm not going to argue that. We have Ted White in here. Corey Feldman's in here. There's a great cast, a fantastic story. The kills are off the charts. And this one is like a quintessential scary slasher. You know, it takes Jason all the way back to the horror elements before it adds any of the comedy. You know, Friday the 13th, Part 3, Part 2, Part 1, and Part 4, very, very strong in the horror elements. Now we have Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning, and it's going up against Halloween 5. And this one, oh man, this one is kind of tough because I do have a fond love for Part 5. There's a lot of love for New Beginning. I don't mind the fact that Jason Voorhees isn't the killer reveal in this film. I don't mind that at all. The killers are really fun. Really fun fact, I got to meet Miguel Nunez recently, so that was really cool at a, a horror convention. But... Dominique Othen Gerard's Halloween 5 is going to take the cake for this one. I'm a huge, huge supporter of Halloween 5. This is in my top three of the Halloween franchise ranking. I absolutely adore this film. I watch this film every year on the anniversary in October when it was released. And I'm ha I have a hashtag Team Tina shirt. So yeah, I am all for Halloween 5. I definitely support this film. Now, next up we have... Friday the 13th part 6 Jason lives and it's going to go up against Curse of Michael Myers and we're in the Curse of Michael Myers beanie right now. Halloween 6 Curse of Michael Myers is a very diverse diverse film. You know, it's got the producer's cut, it's got the theatrical cut, it's got really two different crazy versions. But Jason Lives is going to take the cake in this one. This is no secret either. Jason Lives is my favorite Friday the 13th film. It accompanies all the stuff I love about Friday the 13th. But it actually has some comedy elements. And that lands for me. And I'm a horror comedy guy. I, that's one of my favorite subgenres of horror. So I don't mind adding comedy in to balance that levity of the horror situations. And I love the Jason performance in here. Tommy Jarvis is my favorite final boy like in terms of the Friday the 13th franchise franchise i love this version of him this performance megan is one of my favorite final girls as well in the friday the 13th franchise this one has a great soundtrack so there's so much to love about jason lives now next up we have friday the 13th part 7 a new blood and that one is going to go up against halloween h2o which is in this release i have a three pack this has halloween curse of michael myers h2o and resurrection in it and in terms of this one, it's going to go to A New Blood. And mainly because over years, over the times I've rewatched H2O, I've kind of soured on it a little. I don't hate H2O. Don't get me wrong. I don't dislike that film. It's just rewatching it over the years as I've gotten older. I just don't like H2O as much as I did, like, say, when I was a teen. And New Blood, this one is just, it grows on me more as I get older. So that's the difference. It's like literally these two are going against each other and they're the complete opposite feeling as I've rewatched them over the years as I've gotten older. Like I said, H2O has gone down in my ranking and New Blood has climbed up in my ranking. So this one is going to take the cake in this one. Now we have quite an interesting versus one because we're going to take Resurrection and that one's going to go against Jason Takes Manhattan. And when it comes to Resurrection, that's obviously, obviously my favorite least favorite Halloween film I absolutely despise Resurrection so but it's kind of funny because Jason Takes Manhattan is my least favorite Friday the 13th film it's really funny the two least favorites in the franchises are going against each other and it's gonna go to Jason Takes Manhattan basically because I'm more of a Jason guy like I said Friday the 13th is my franchise I rather watch this film because like I said it has Jason Voorhees in it there's is some really good music in here that's probably my favorite part about this movie or my favorite thing about this movie is the music to this one but the story and the characters are ooh, like very rough and like I said I just enjoyed this one the least out of the franchise but if I'm pinning these two against each other I definitely would rather watch Jason Takes Manhattan over Resurrection. Next we have Rob Zombie's Halloween. I don't have a physical media release of this one and it's going up against Jason Goes to Hell and for me this is an underrated gem. I really like this one. This is a far cry from the normal norm of the Friday the 13th franchise. This is completely different. And I really respect the fact that Adam Marcus, the director, went that route. This is quite a different route. Like I said, it's more of a possession film. It's a body horror film. It's got demons in it and stuff and magical daggers and 
introducing characters that are related to Jason Voorhees that we never really tackled in any of the previous eight films at all. So like I said, this has no business being as good as it is, and I think this film is an absolute beautiful mess. So Jason Goes to Hell is going to take it over Rob Zombie's Halloween. I do enjoy Rob Zombie's Halloween, but I'd rather watch this bad boy right here. Now, I don't have Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 on physical media as well. I got to pick that one. I'm kind of waiting for really really awesome badass releases of those two films that have more stuff on them i might if not if they don't ever get released i might go search out some physical media copies of those because there are some out there but that one rob zombies halloween 2 is going up against jason x and come on like you're talking to your boy norn ratter like 89 are we really kidding right now we're gonna go jason x this is full-on full-on like horror comedy and it's just taking jason to space adding in the fact that you turn him into uber jason having that robotic cybernetic thing with the nanotechnology that ends up enhancing jason Voorhees. the cast in here is so funny the kills are really good in this one the cgi might be dated but absolutely probably one of the best horror franchises that ever took it to space like this is one of my favorite films it's schlocky you know horror comedy you know but i'm gonna take this over rob zombies halloween 2 any day now we're starting with the david gordon green trilogy and we're gonna go with halloween 2018 and it's going up against freddy versus jason now this one is really really hard for me you know, Jason's been taking a lot of them, if you've been seeing. Like, Friday the 13th has really come back and taken the lead. Like I said, it's my favorite franchise, but this one, Halloween 2018, is going to take it. I really do love Freddy vs. Jason, and I have a very huge nostalgia love for it because I saw this in theaters for my birthday movie the, the month and the year it came out. But Halloween 2018 is just an absolute masterpiece. The more I watch this film, the more I love it. I it is in the top 5 of my Halloween ranking. I really do like this film and it could climb to even being number 4 the more I watch it over time. Like nostalgia will grow on me and I think just like I said, Halloween 2018 it might be more cookie cutter kind of copycat, but I love the love letter homage style of it to John Carpenter's Halloween and like I said Halloween 2018 might be actually also my favorite score. The score to this movie is absolutely fantastic. And now, last but not least, because like I said, Halloween ends. We don't have a comparable Friday the 13th film for that one, so that's kind of omitted. We omitted Halloween ends, so we're going to talk about Friday the 13th, the remake, and it's going up against Halloween Kills. And talk about two films that have really great performances. James Jude Courtney as Michael Myers in here absolutely beautiful Derek Mears as Jason Voorhees in here is fantastic and of course your boy Norn Rad being a Friday the 13th fan that's my jam that's my franchise I'm gonna go this film the remake over Halloween Kills I think Halloween Kills has some awesome vibes one of the best Michael Myers performances hands down some really solid kills it's some of the greatest kills that you've ever seen in the franchise or in this film so there is a reason why they call it Halloween Kills but Friday the 13th, the remake, is another one that it's warm, comfort food. I can throw this film on at any time of the day, and I'm going to watch it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to adore it. And like I said, I don't mind the characters. I think the characters are cool. I enjoy the cast and Derek Mears probably in my top three in terms of uh, Jason Voorhees' performances. This is one of the best out there for sure, hands down. So as you can see, out of the 12 matchups we had, we had 12 matchups, 12 movies going against each other from each one, you know what I mean, Halloween franchise and the Friday the 13th franchise, and I picked Friday the 13th eight times. So as you can tell, that is my franchise, that's my boy. It was looking dark for Jason at the moment right there with, you know, starting off with John Carpenter's Halloween and Rick Rosenthal's Halloween 2, them two taking the victory first. So it was looking dark for a moment there, but... As you can tell, once we started getting into the Friday the 13th franchise, I just start really loving those ones later in the franchise. You know, part three, part four, they really elevated it to a new level. Then we had part six, which is absolutely my favorite. And then me being such a lover of what they did with Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X 
fantastic. I really adore the Friday the 13th remake, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video of me taking franchises and taking them against each other and kind of putting them against movie for movie and picking the movie which one I like the best, if you like these videos, please like it so I know that. And let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see more and suggest what kind of other versus videos you want. Of course, the franchises kind of have to be very close in terms of how many films you know there are in each franchise. So definitely keep that in mind as well. But all support is much appreciated. Liking the video, subscribing, supporting, poking that notification bell so you're notified anytime I drop a video. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.